Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you on a Chew Tuesday with 2023 Panini Mosaic Football. Six box, half case, pick your team number three. All card ship, a lot of great stuff here. Big thank you to this group right here for making it happen. It's already the 26th, jeez. Pick your team three. If you have Moz 20 next to your name, that means you won that spot in that mosaic football pack number 20. Dan, you got last spot mojo with the Texans. So thanks to you, thanks to everybody. Thanks everyone for making this happen, appreciate you. And a fresh case, let's see what we got. There's the fresh case right there. Knife, knife is right here. Um, oh, okay, I see. So we've got two, four, six right there and two, four, six right there. So one, two, three for the top six, four, five, six for the bottom six. One, top six. So let's just slide these six off the top and the bottom six will do for break number four which is on the site right now jazbeescasebreaks.com no filler uh, not yet anyway I will be putting this into a filler after this break if you're watching live so if you just want to get your team straight up we might even be able to fill up the break straight up. So you can kind of see four right there. Keep those two on my side right over here. That's so all one a snake eye, just one one eye. Just one eye. All right, and good luck. Two autographs per box on average. Mosaic usually has a lot of fun parallels. We're looking for all those parallels and ultra rare inserts, stained glass, kaleidoscopic, and more. All right, good luck everybody. Well, let's do a quick recap of week three. It's all in the books. Last Thursday, Niners beat the Giants 30 to 12. And Christian McCaffrey and the Niners winning their 13th straight in the regular season. Giants just really couldn't get anything going on Thursday. <laughs> Browns. Beat the Titans 27-3. Miles Garrett, Cleveland defense, devours the Titans. Deshaun Watson with a couple touchdowns. Bouncing back from the, the, the bad Nick Chubb news. Should we skip the Jets, Adam? Lions cruised over the Falcons 20-6. Goff throws and runs for TDs. That's good. Packers beat the Saints by a point. Jordan Love rallying the Packers to an 18-17 win. Derek Carr going down with an AC joint injury, which, which is it's like the top of your, it's where your collarbone meets your shoulder, and it's like that little soft spot that's kind of right in between there. So I don't know if he's going to be out for how long. Apparently not seriously. Is he going to miss a game? We'll see. We'll go through the other games in the next box, but here we go. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll preview next week as well. Sort of a longer break. It's kind of a good time to do that. These ones aren't numbered. These refractors are not numbered as well. 
Kid Reporter cards. And our first auto is Derek Hall for the Seahawks. Who has the Hawks of the Sea? Douglas, who won the Seahawks in the filler. It's the blue auto, 72 out of 99. Of course, we'll do a little autograph recap at the end as well, along with some many low numbered hits that we may stumble into. Quinn and Williams red. And we've got a uh, Jartavius Martin orange to 199. And 33 out of 49, audible, Matthew Stafford. Omaha! What are some other good audibles? Taylor Swift! Taylor Swift! Blue 42! Is that hot? Stafford will go to the Rams, that'll be for Simon. Did you hear that Travis Kelsey jersey sales up 400%? Swifties buying Travis Kelsey jerseys. Is their next concert going to be full of Travis Kelsey jerseys in there? That would be kind of hilarious. Here's an NFL debut, CJ Stroud. There's a Paul Krause, 34 out of 99. Old school Viking going to Douglas. NFL debut, CJ Stroud going to uh, Dan and the Texans. Got his first win. Another Jartavius Martin, Cortland Sutton. Moments in time. Oh, sorry, points. That takes the place of an autograph. Unfortunately, we got, we'll do left, right randomizers on these. Dexter Lawrence orange to 199. That'll be for the Giants. That's gonna go to EA. We got a Will Levis NFL debut. That'll be for Michael and the Titans. There's B. John Robinson NFL debut. Hopefully we can find their, these are technically inserts, but hopefully we can find their, their base and maybe some low numbers too. Dalvin Cook, seven out of 49. That's still a Vikings edition there, but a little color match. Going to Minnesota, that's for Douglas. Uh, here's a rookie silver, Quentin Johnson. This is a little interesting now because Mike Williams is out for the season, unfortunately, with an injury. So their first, first round pick? Their wide receiver pick in this year's draft. Now might get some more snaps, so this could be a, a this could be some value there. Matt Johnston with Quentin Johnston, and we'll do that randomizer at the end along with that other one. Jan saying Taylor tweeted about getting the vote out and voter registration was about twenty three percent. Taylor gets in both football and voter registration. Good for her. All right, uh, let's go do the week three recap. Dolphins pounding on the Broncos, 70 points, 70 to 20. Is Sean Payton washed? <laughs> or is that Broncos team just not as good as, as people thought? That's just bad, that's a very bad day at the office. It's almost like, almost like they gave up. Herbert Chargers keep Vikings winless by pulling out a 28 to 24 victory, which was sealed by a late pick in the end zone. That's the, those are the worst. 
the interception in the end zone. Um, the Patriots beat the Jets 15 to 10. Wow, that extends the winning streak to 15 straight over the Jets. Josh Allen throws for a TD, runs for another. Bills route the commander 37 to 3. Sam Howell, maybe not the answer. They didn't. The commander didn't even get their their points until the fourth quarter. I don't know, but I feel like this is this is a big season for Eric Bieniemy, who's the OC in Washington. They got to figure that out. All right, we'll go through some more scores later on. Uh, has there been an update about Brooks Robinson's passing? No, there's no updates. He has passed away. That's that. R.I.P. Lived a full life. The human vacuum cleaner at third base. Great player. One of uh, one of Boss Man, Nick Jaspi's dad. It's one of his his favorite players. So Jordan Addison. More points. Winner take all on the points. We're going to collect all of those together. Travis Etienne. And that's uh, Men of Mastery, Jalen Hurts. I almost thought that was like a stained glass or color wheel for a second there. But yeah, Brooks Robinson, one of the, one of the great ones, passed away today. There's Terrell Suggs. Orange, 189 out of 199. And then a moment in time, Antonio Freeman to 99. That's for the Packers, Simon. Terrell Suggs for Walter in Arizona. You know, Jan, sort of a random thing, but I uh, thought about you the other day because I just picked up uh, the Billy Walters book. He uh, spent some of his formative years growing up in Louisville. Good book, by the way, if anybody wants, to, wants a book recommendation. And we've got an NFL debut, Jalen Hyatt, 20 out of 25 for the Giants. That's going to be... For EA. Got a Garrett Williams autograph. Rookie auto for the Cardinals. That's for Walter. Not numbered, but in that mosaic parallel there. Remember the red parallels, not numbered. Red, we got Straight Fire, Joe Burrow. No, that round game was boring last night. It was. So was a little bit of the Tony Romo to 99. How do you like the two Monday nights, Jay? I don't like that that much. I, I wouldn't mind it if one started like a That's two hours earlier. That's exactly what Teddy and I were saying. I didn't like the overlap. I don't mind extra football on a Monday night, but I don't like the overlap. I don't like how they switch showing both games. Like, well, I'm going to show them all that game. Yeah, but it's just, yeah, I didn't. Don't split screen them. Don't, I don't want split screens. 
you know, just just give me one a little bit earlier and then one a little bit later, separate games. Yeah, we'll start at 4 Yeah, something like that. Do it like a West Coast game at 7 or something. Exactly. I think that's the only way it works, right? You have to have a West Coast game at 7. Yeah. Right. But thinking about it, if you're on the East Coast and the game starts at 8.30, that's super late. Really? late. So I'm like, 7.30 is perfect for the West Coast. Really? late, yeah. I'm just surprised they did it two weeks in a row. Usually it's only like once. Yeah, I think they were experimenting with it, but yeah. let's see how. I think teams would probably prefer rather having an extra Monday as a Thursday. Yeah, Adam didn't like that either. Only part Adam liked on the East Coast, yeah, was was that it was a little bit earlier. Yeah, Eagles game started around. Your time of eight started at seven instead of eight thirty, so we got over earlier. But I wouldn't mind. I, I mean, I don't think Thursday night football is going away because Amazon paid too much money for it. Unless Amazon wants to move that date, I'd love to see. I mean, no offense to college football, but I'd love to see no Thursday game, but push a game to Saturday. And Nike Phil saying, "Yeah, we get the extra game because of the writers' strike." Oh my God, they got it right. Strike's over now. They they can get back to scripting the. Uh, Is it over now? Yeah, I think so. Now they just have to figure out the. I think the Screen Actors Guild is also on strike. They have to figure out the actors, but. Okay, but yeah, if Amazon moves the game to Saturday, that'd be great. I think the players would like that too. Now what am I saying? No more Thursdays. Do a Saturday game, and do you know your Sunday games, and then do maybe a couple Monday night games. It is funny though how they're just like screw the East Coast. Yeah. We're gonna start at eight thirty. It's rough. <laughs> but yeah. like if it's a Monday night Raiders game, it's like it's five thirty here. You know? Yeah. It's early. It's Christian Gonzalez to forty nine. That'll be for the Patriots. And there's Hendon Hooker Silver for the Lions. That's for Detroit. The work in progress will be marinating behind Goff for a little bit. Maybe maybe turns into a QB of the future. Maybe when that Goff contract runs out. There's B. John Robinson, NFL debut, and a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption for bragging rights? B. John Robinson going into the ATL. That's for you, Adam. There's David Carr. There is Roshan Johnson to 199 for the Bears. That'll go to Kyle. So we're going to see uh, Aiden O'Connell this week? Is Garofalo, what, what's the update on him? He's in concussion protocol. But I mean, is he ruled out? Well, they haven't ruled him out yet, but. I guess we'll see in tomorrow's season, practices. So far, anybody that's been on concussion protocol hasn't played the next week. Oh. Everybody's waited two weeks. Maybe. Yeah, play Aiden O'Connell. So. That's the thing. It's like, that's what they were saying. They go, well, Might as well. Ruggolo would be the only one then so far this year to be cleared in a week. Most teams haven't cleared their players in two right, it's not like It's not like the Raiders are going anywhere. <laughs> 62 out of 99, B. John Robinson, blue. Nice. Do you have a first round pick? I don't know. They do, man. Hey, there's a good draft class for quarter this year. I mean, Caleb Williams would be nice. Well, I'm not too too confident about coaching staff, though. Yeah, I think that's the one thing Gavin's might be gone. I think if they, I, I don't if they think want a quarterback, they're probably going to get a whole new quarterback. He can't be gone, though. Why? He has a long-term deal? Well, no, but like they're still paying Gruden for like another two years. They're going to fire another one and then still pay... You know, McDaniels has guaranteed money for the next three years. So they're gonna have to suck it up. And then triple up and pay a third head coach at the same time? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. And I'm not sure why Hunter Renfro isn't being used more. That's ridiculous. I mean Devontae's eating though. He is. There's Marvin Mims, Denver, autograph going to uh, Chris, who won that team in the filler. 37 out of 199. Any relation to Denzel Mims? <laughs> uh, 
according to Wikipedia, no. Here's a CJ Stroud NFL debut for Dan. More Bijan Robinson rookie cards for uh, for Adam and the Falcons. Marvin Mims already looks a lot better than Denzel Mims, says Adam. Man, I wasn't. I was out and about in the morning game mm -hmm. on Sunday. How about that Broncos beatdown? Yeah, that, that was, was good. That was so sad. That was very sad. Someone goes, Colorado hasn't felt this beatdown since 24 hours ago. Wow, <laughs> harsh. That's <laughs> Mac Jones orange goes to Karen and her Patriots. Their center stage, Dalvin Cook. Yeah, does Tom Cruise have relatives in the movie? Yeah, I guess he's from that area, right? No comment on the Billy Walters, Jan? Guess not, didn't care. All right, Redemption, good luck everybody, is Stetson Bennett, the fourth. Showtime signatures, purple, for the Rams. Whose house? Rams house. And that will be for Simon and the Rams, who got the Rams in the uh, in the Philip. All right, halfway through this half case break, let's go back to the NFL scoreboard update. We, yeah, we just talked about the, the beat down. Where do we leave off? Texans beat the Jaguars. That was a big upset, 37 to 17. Huh. CJ Stroud, the guy, that's a big win over a division rival on the road. I think Texans fans have got to be happy about that. And that's good for the hobby, too. In overtime, Colts beat the Ravens 22-19 without Anthony Richardson. So a little stumble there for Baltimore. Seahawks took care of the Panthers 37-27. Bryce Young looking for his first. Actually, Dalton started that game. So Bryce Young looking to get healthy and still looking for his first win of the year. Uh, Chiefs took care of the Bears, 41 to 10. Mahomes with three touchdown passes. Taylor Swift at the Chiefs game. So Chiefs are one and zero when Taylor Swift is uh, is in attendance. It's I saw I saw I saw ESPN post or not post, but like one of the Sports Center guys match up Taylor Swift's tour schedule with the Chiefs schedule <laughs> to see when Taylor Swift may be at another game next. I think if she goes to another game, if this continues, she'll go to the Eagles-Chiefs game. Ooh. I wonder how many Swifties end up at that game. Just jacking up ticket prices just to catch a glimpse. I mean, they already make up Plus 400% yes. jersey sales. sales. Jeez. Jeez. Immediately gained 500,000 followers. Like, no, it's legit, man. Although some people are speculating that it's just like a little bit of Hollywood PR yeah, machine. Yeah, I, I, honestly, of thing. I don't think it's a real... I, I'm not saying it's not real, but I just think having fun. I mean, he just... He basically called her out, right? Like saying, you know, I've seen you rock out. Come see me yeah, rock out. Yeah, that's true. Like, Fine, I'll do it. That's true. I hope it goes on. That looks yeah, that, I mean, that, that's, that's, that's fun. That's, that's, I feel like that's a good story for 2023. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like there's always yeah. bad news and tragedies happening, but it's just like, let's, let's have something fun. It's Jalen Hyatt to 199. There's a Bryce Young rookie card for Carolina. That's for Brian Watford. Let's see if we can find some parallels of him or maybe even some, uh, some ink. Here's Jameer Gibbs, NFL debut. Kind of nice seeing some 2023 product, ladies and gentlemen. Second half is in the store. Pick your team four if you want to get into that. No filler yet. I'm going to be working on a filler after this. And there is, nice, Sam Laporta. Rookie autograph for Detroit. That's gonna go to Chris. Got the Lions straight up. 
Um, I feel like this guy could be... I saw some people talking about him uh, being picked up in fantasy teams. We might stash him on a bench if he needs some tight end help right there. Pretty nice. We got Purple Eddie George, 22 out of 49 for the Titans. That'll be for Michael. And we got a splash insert, 47 out of 49. That's Justin Jefferson for Douglas and the Vikings. I feel like we haven't seen a lot of these. Might be a little bit of a shorter <gasps> printed insert. We got Lawrence Taylor Red. And the other stack here. We got a Lamar Jackson to 199. National Pride. Let's see what else we have here. I'll start printing over there, but nothing printed off, so I figured maybe it just disconnected me. I don't know. What? Nothing. Don't worry, Zach. You don't have to worry about that. Like, yeah, I try to take it off energy saving mode, but it keeps wanting to do it. No worries. If it prints later, I'm not going to print it today, but if it prints later. Right, we got another redemption. Any guesses on there for redemption for bragging rights? We got a blue Quinn and Williams, 29 out of 99. That'll be for Adam and his J E T S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Here's an Anthony Richardson NFL debut. And that'll be for the Colts. That's going to go to Douglas. The redemption is going to be, nobody wants to guess, well, it's going to be Michael Mayer. Rookie autographs mosaic red for my Raiders. That's going to go to, it's going to go to Victor. Michael Mayer has been, uh, been getting some more looks from game to game. So if you're, uh, for fantasy purposes, maybe stash him away on the bench if you need that tight end help, but he might continue to develop as the season goes on. If they're expecting him to be the, the tight end one of the future. He's got to just work on some pass protecting and stuff like that, just what a lot of rookie tight ends need to figure out earlier in their career especially more offensive tight ends that come out of college. Um, where do we leave off? Chiefs beat the Bears 41 to 10, the Taylor Swift effect. Cardinals, that was another big upset. Cardinals beat the Cowboys 28 to 16, led by Joshua Dobbs. Steelers beat my Raiders 23 to 18. Josh McDaniel saying he'd kick that late field goal again. Trusted his defense to get the ball back. I don't know if I trusted that, I think I would have would have gone for the touchdown and the two-point conversion. So you're at home, be aggressive. A little too conservative of a play call. I was willing to give Josh McDaniels the benefit of the doubt last year. That, that leash to me is a little bit shorter this year. I don't think they could let him go though. I think they've got too many coaches that they're still paying. Uh, last night, Eagles took care of the Buccaneers, 25 to 11. And then Bengals beat the Rams 19 to 16. And then we'll take a look at, uh, in the last box, we'll take a look at week four action. All right, good luck, everybody.
Eric, what's going on? Welcome. And beyond Trevor Lawrence, there's his teammate, Tank Bigsby. Rookie auto for the Jaguars, that's gonna go to Adam, who won the Jaguars in the filler. Are there two tanks in the league? There's like a, I feel like there's a tank on Houston as well. And we got a Christian Kirk Blue. 48 out of 99, another one for Adam and the Jaguars. Oh, Eric just got done setting up a wrestling ring in your backyard. Do you have, do you have wrestling aspirations? Maybe just for funsies? Until the uh, Tank Dell, that's right, for Houston. Maybe for fun until uh, until uh, until the first ankle that gets broken. That's right, Jan. Eric got it first. It is Tank Dell. Might have some fantasy relevance this year. Because David Carr to 199. Speaking of the Texans. Oh wow, you wrestle every Sunday. You've done wrestling for two years now. Wait, pro wrestling? <laughs> Where you're flying off the ropes? Or like proper wrestling, like actual wrestling? And there is LeGarrette Blunt. Remember him? Buccaneers, that's gonna be for Chris and the Bucks. Ninety-five out of ninety-nine on that one. Oh, I see. Oh, that this is where I'm usually not a grammar Nazi, Jan, but that's where the apostrophe would have helped. It's Tank Dell versus it is Tank Dell. There's Jalen Hyatt, one out of 49. Moments in time, Justin Jefferson to 99. Pro wrestling, nice. Bouncing off the ropes and everything. Huh. You wrestle for uh, KW Keystone Wrestling Alliance. That's pretty cool. We had, we had someone who worked for us many years ago. I'm blanking on his name, but... But, uh... He was actually training to be to do some pro wrestling. Like he was, uh, you know. There's like, you know, here in the LA area, there's like a number of local like places where they they teach that stuff. So he was he was all in on that. So I, I thought that was pretty. Pretty cool, like a pro wrestling school. Cam Akers to 199. Let's see if a change of scenery does him well. This is still Rams edition going to Simon. And the final box coming up. Ooh, good luck with that, Eric. Let us know how it goes. All right, final box. And week four already upon us in the NFL. Any, any games that jump out at you, ladies and gentlemen? Thursday night football game, Lions at Packers. They're both two and one. This could be that could be actually a really fun matchup on Thursday. Nice, yeah, local local wrestling still strong. You know, around the country. Uh, Falcons at Jaguar. Oh, Falcons are in London. Falcons and Jaguars are in London. That's our first international game. Dolphins at Bills, that should be a fun one. Uh, Bills are the short favorites there. Detroit's actually the short road favorite. They're minus one and a half on the road. Bills are the short favorite, minus two and a half. Broncos at Bears. Someone's got to win. 
What if that ends up in a tie? Broncos are a road favorite, minus three and a half. My, if you're bold enough, you, you may go with the Broncos because maybe people see them, see people put 70 points on them and then they're like, the overreaction. That's a bad game though. The total is 46. Ravens are at Browns. That's a good divisional matchup, so that'll be an interesting one. Bengals are on the road. They're in Tennessee. Rams at Colts. Buccaneers are uh, in the Big Easy in, Saint, in uh, New Orleans. Commanders are facing the Eagles in Philadelphia. That's going to be a tough one for the Commanders. Vikings at Panthers. Steelers at Texans. My Raiders are in Los Angeles, so they're playing a home game against the Chargers, Patriots at Cowboys, Cardinals at Niners, the upstart Cardinals. Can they upset another team again? Chiefs at Jets is the Sunday night football matchup. It's gonna be tough for the Jets. It's gonna be in, uh, it's gonna be in, uh, in New York. Chiefs are the road favorites at minus nine and a half. And your Monday night football game, just one. Seahawks at Giants. Giants are the short home favorite, minus one and a half. That doesn't, not terribly exciting, but hopefully, at least on paper, but hopefully that Monday Night Football game will be a little more interesting. All right, final box in break three. Thanks everybody for filling this up. Second half of the case break four is in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm gonna be putting the rest of those teams into a filler after this break, after this video. So if you wanna get your team straight up, now is the time, jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's a Bryce Young and a Luke. Scoon maker, the maker of scoons. Bryce Young for Carolina, Brian with Bryce. NFL debut, not numbered. Jay Ward, Grizzlebees, what's going on? Tyler Scott. And we got Josh Allen orange to 199. That will be for Ron and the Buffalo Bills. That's right, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. You have me on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. Take advantage of it. Put me to work. <laughs> Geno Smith Orange to 199 for Seattle. Justin Fields Splash. Is it Justin Fields or is it the coaching? Or both. I was hoping Justin Fields would take a step forward this year, but so far it doesn't look like it. CJ Stroud and Brandon Jacobs for the Giants. Autograph for EA and the Giants. Not number. We've got a red Josh Downs, also not numbered. All card ship. CJ Stroud, NFL debut. Goes to Dan and the Texans. I had a big game. I wonder how many big games he's going to have. Maybe a fancy football pickup if you need running backs. It's Dalvin Cook, Vikings edition to 199 orange. That will go to Douglas. We got Kyle Pitts to 49 for the ATL. That will be for Adam. Flash Joe Burrow. We 
we've got You Gotta Know When to Hold on um, Jameson Williams to 99, Brian Robinson Jr. Silver, and that, my friends, is that. All right, we got a little bit of housekeeping to do here. First of all, we're gonna do the left-right randomizer for those uh, carbon copy cards. And then we'll gather everybody's names for the chance at all those points, winner take all on the points. All right, so let's roll it, randomize it, two and a three, five times each for each list. One, two, three, four, five. That's right side, so all the right side teams will get these carbon copy cards. And points, two and a three, five times. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. And that's gonna be Ron. You'll get the uh, 250 and the 400 points, winner take all on the points. All right, there you go, gang. Second half in the store. Some nice stuff here, but I feel like we have not seen any of the big rookie names, like especially the rookie qu quarterback autograph names. Maybe they're in the second half, so let's check it out. Go for it. Get after it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.